writing for underwater. There is a place beneath the water of consciousness in which the voice is born. The water belongs to no, no one, has no identity, is nothing. Beneath the water, a pump containing oxygen has been installed to create this place for voice. Here, I can say anything. Can you hear me? They have politicized freedom. Can you hear me? They have made the freedom of my mind ideological. I don't know what to think anymore. If I ever did. Once I just thought. Now I must plummet the depths of the dark and mysterious oceans swim toward the oxygen and there I can say what I think with the fear of drowning. This is like the underground underwater. Here we can think forbidden thoughts but innocence here I can speak about what is going on above ground without fear of reprisal are you still there can you hear me I have been silenced, instructed not to speak. Others have taken my words, and the sound might hurt their feelings. I have read Orwell, but I never really knew it, until I had to swim for my intellectual life. But I must say it. I must speak the truth. I cannot let it lie, for it has taken all from me. And I thought I still had it, but I don't. I have unknowingly given birth to a lie. It is a poison chalice I am drinking for my sustenance day by day in the earth's toxicity. I long for freedom, and I am scorned. I yearn for voice, and I am silenced. I am nobody becoming somebody becoming nobody, being crushed in the cogs of the industrial machine that runs all day, every day. My bones are turning to dust. The weapon is old and bloody, full of rust. It has been used many times before and still has the guts of previous victims hanging off it. I am dead, but here is a hole where I can live. An inaudible echo in which I can speak the darkest secrets of society's brightest lights. But if this is what it takes to live, it might be easier to die.